Alright, so this video is now how to use a chainsaw safely or how Mike Bennett uses a chainsaw safely. So, first of all, you need a chainsaw. Um, obviously, it's good to select the right chainsaw for the job. Now, basically, the smaller the chainsaw, the safer it is, I believe, because the more gutless it is and the shorter the bar, the safer it is. So, uh, if you're a learner or you're sending out people who are learning to use a chainsaw, you know, it's good to use a pretty gutless uh, chainsaw with a short bar because um, it's safer. Um, so these little, you know, kind of like saws like this are uh, the right saw for just doing little firewood jobs and clearing things. You know, I wouldn't be here with now a big flipping 90cc saw with a, you know, two foot bar trying to cut some things because there's a heck of a lot of power and lots of things can go wrong out at the end of the bar. So choose the right saw for the job, number one. Number two is obviously have the uh, shame chain tight uh, and sharp. So we've just did a little video before about how to tighten the chain and another one about how to sharpen it. So let's assume that's good. Make sure it's got gas and oil are filled up. Never use the saw without any oil in the bar. Okay, um, just about all chainsaws run the same way in that you basically have to put them on choke, um, pull them till they fire. As soon as they fire, turn the choke off and then they start a couple of pulls later. So um, when you're starting the saw from cold, you, oh, this, the stills all now seem to have this system where the button goes right the way down to choke. Now the choke symbol is that funny little um, butterfly looking thing. And what this one you have to do is you have to pull in the trigger to get it to stay right down and choke. So it's actually choking it and the throttle lock is on. So the tr trigger is, is kind of like half, um, is half pulled in. So then you always, with, for the first um, start of the day, put the saw on the ground. Um, you know, some people put their foot out like this. And some people put their foot in like that. Doesn't, I think, make any difference. But, you know, I actually do it this way. Hold it with your hand on here and here. Now, I actually, of course, you also have to have the right safety gear. Because, you know, safety is my middle name. And, uh, uh, so, the bare minimum safety, I believe, is chaps. Now, there's obviously industry standards about you've got to wear high vis and all sorts of bits and pieces. But, you know, I think pretty much now, for anyone using a saw, see, on this farm, you have to wear chaps every time you use a saw. Then, also... Oh, and boots as well. Actually, I'm sitting at home editing this video and I realise I never talked about the boots. So, if you get caught doing a chainsaw work in jandals, no, can't use it anymore. So, you got to wear boots, preferably steel cap, and chaps. And then all the other stuff I'm going to talk about in a minute. Cut. Also, you should, and truth be known, sometimes I just pick up a saw and use it without all this palaver. But, you know, you should have eye protection, which could be something like this, or you could just have some goggles, uh, you know, glasses or something and ear protection which is like this. so this is obviously very safe and it's really annoying to use but there you go um just because i'm going to do the demonstration i can't talk with it on, i'm going to do it without it for a second so you put this on the ground you put your toe or your heel in here you hold it firmly on the ground um the chain brake is on okay is it yep okay and pull oh okay so that was a fire that was too quick so now oh this saw's actually been just been used then i take the choke off um to the next position and pull. Okay. Where are you? So the saw's going to the last one. And I clicked the um the button and now it's going. And now it's going. Um shut! Oh, turn off. Um yeah. Um huskies you normally push them down and these stools you flick them up with your thumb. Um but what I've learned really um, lately, actually after doing a chainsaw safety course, you really need to make a big use of this thing, the chain brake. And you need to get in the habit of being able to flick it on um, and off really easily and quickly. So on is the chain brake and off is there. So I actually use it all the time now, whereas to be really honest, in the 40 years I've been using a chainsaw, I never used to use it that much at all. So I start now with the chain brake on in case there's a big rev off and chops my head off. And, um, and I use it all the time when I'm moving between cuts. So, uh, what was I going to say now? It's kind of a battle. So I put my safety gear on. Uh, the saws start. The main thing when you're using a saw is there's just some golden rules. Basically, unless you're a pro, don't cut above your head. So don't start trying to cut like this. Because, you know, if something goes wrong get, and there's a kickback, it pretty much chops your head in half. So always, and, and you're kind of weak in this angle. It's hard to stop it doing this. So... Try and plan all your cuts. If this is a piece of firewood, you know, chop it off down here, let it fall on the ground, then cut it up, you know. Or bare minimum, cut, you know, be about this high where you've still got good kind of strength. Don't go above your shoulders with the saw. 
um, because pretty much it puts it into this kind of position. Um,